let us quickly also understand two other concepts with respect to interest on debentures. One is interest accrued and due and the other is interest accrued but not due. Now what is interest accrued and due? What is interest accrued but not due? Now what happens is when a company closes its books of account, say on 31st March at the time of year ending, if it has not paid any interest, any outstanding interest must be brought into the books. However, suppose, suppose the date of payment of interest for the company was 31st December and it is pays interest only once a year. In that case, after having paid interest for 31st December, the interest for the months of January, February and March would remain outstanding. However, the company is not liable to pay this interest now. There is a fixed date of interest that is 31st December. So, the interest for the three months is called interest accrued but it is not yet due. Interest accrued but not yet due. But if a company has not paid interest on the due date, at the time of closing of, this, of the books of account, such interest would be called interest accrued and due. The interest accrued and due is shown along with debentures. So this becomes a part of long-term borrowings. Interest accrued but not due on the other hand is shown as a current liability. So if there is an outstanding interest, but the company is the due date for paying has not yet come. Then that interest is said to be interest accrued but not due. On the other hand, if the due date is passed and the company has still not paid the interest, it is called interest accrued and due. Let us take this example. ABC Limited issued 10,000 12% debentures of 100 each. On 1st July, an interest is payable on 31st December and 30th June. Now, in this case, if the company closes its books on 31st March, let us see what happens. This is the same example. No interest was payment was made till 31st March. When did the company issue the debentures? On 1st July. So what were the due dates? The due dates for payment of interest is 31st December. And the next date interest would be 30th June. Now the company has not paid any interest. On 31st March, when we come to the period 31st March, which is in between these two periods, these two dates, what is the position? What is the amount of interest accrued and due? What is the amount of interest accrued but not due? The amount of interest which is accrued and due is the interest which is payable up to 31st December. This was due but not paid. So what is the amount of interest which is accrued and due? It is interest for the period 1st July to 31st December, 12 months interest. So it is, sorry, 6 months interest, 12% of 10,000 debentures into 100 for 6 months equal to 60,000. So this is the amount of interest accrued and due. What is the amount of interest accrued but not due from 1st January to 31st March is the amount of interest that is 3 months interest 12% of 10,000 debentures of 100 each for 3 months. This would be equal to 30,000. This is the amount of interest accrued but not due. So, 3 months interest, January, February and March is interest accrued but not due. 
and the amount of interest which is accrued and due is the six months interest from 1st July to 31st December amount of 60,000. I repeat, interest accrued and due is shown along with debentures. Interest accrued but not due is shown under current liabilities.